Gentlemen, there is nothing I love more than guns in video games. So when the two collide, I'm usually there for it. Games like Tarkov, where you have to have the right mount for your gun. What the hell is even that? I fucking love that shit. Safe to say I'm a gun junkie who likes to blow off some steam with some virtual firearms. Now there's just one problem. Recoil. Recoil is a physical interaction between us, the shooter, Son of a bitch. and the gun. Not us. I can basically summarize it as bullet go forward, gun go back. Most FPS games before the 2000s didn't even have recoil, making every single gun essentially a laser beam. Now the first game to have recoil was the OG Counter-Strike in 2006. What the fuck? Don't tell me I have to buy ammo. Why they only give me one mag? You have to buy ammo. Okay. Using recoil as a drawback for picking the higher power rifles over the submachine guns. Hey bro, did you buy health insurance this round? <laughs> oh, he's going for the med. Oh, he doesn't have health insurance. While recoil is certainly present in the first Counter-Strike, being more of a subtle push instead of an aggressive climb. That's super easy to control. That's pretty good, right? I, I cannot see a thing. For the most accurate depiction of recoil in video games, we might have to pick up one of these. You see, Pavlov is one of my favorite games of all time. If you have VR and you don't have Pavlov, what the fuck are you doing, dog? The way Pavlov handles recoil is so fucking fun. I spend hours in the shooting range just shooting these guns over and over and over and over again. Now credit where credit is due. If you don't have an extra thousand dollars to spend on a VR headset, you might be more contempt with a console. Don't keep touching your meat. Sometimes you might want to close it. The most accurate depiction of recoil for you would probably be 2019's Modern Warfare. Just look at this clip. Just shut the fuck up. Look at this clip. God damn! Somebody give those fucking animators a raise. <laughs> now, of course, realistic doesn't always mean better. There's a game that scares me. It really, really fucking scares me. And that game <laughs> is Escape from Tarkov. Now, my goofy ass thought it would be funny to go into Tarkov, try to find the highest recoiling gun there is, and try and get some kills with it. That went about as well as you can really expect. <laughs> uh, all right, let's try to get some kills with this thing. Oh, that is horrendous. Oh my god. This thing's a piece of shit. Did I kill him? Oh, I did! <laughs> Come here, Charlie. Oh! Alright, I've gone ahead, loaded into factory. This should be more eventful. Oh! oh. Alright, chat, we're done for the night. Oh, I haven't even taken the, the, the muzzle adapter off. There we go. That should be even more of a piece of shit. Oh! No! Oh my god. Oh, I killed him. Oh, fuck. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Dying in this game is not fun. Alright, one more game. Oh, I just saw one. <laughs> Jesus. If you're gonna use the FAL, please switch it off of full auto. I'm not falling for this shit again. Sometimes life is cock and ball torture. Oh, this isn't good. I hit one of them. Oh! <laughs> oh, fucking Jesus. Fuck this game. <laughs>